a quick back home video uh, next day. It's Sunday. I've just left Lynn out for a wee. I'm bent over for some reason. I don't know why I'm bent over. I've got, oh, I'm leaning against the cabinet. No, that's better. Uh, place is a tip. It really needs tidying up. It's not a tip. It's just I've just come in and put my stuff down. I've not really done anything. But I've decided I'm having a day off from housework. Because I'm still knackered. I slept the entire night through again last night. I feel still stupid and pissed off myself for losing my passport. But I'm going to blame the carrier bag that I got in Amsterdam. 20 cent carrier bag. I was almost going to say no to it. Because I didn't want to faff around with having to mess around with pocket change. But I thought no. Because I've got these bloody um, bulbs that I bought for my sister. I'll, I'll carry them in that. And I ended up buying a fridge magnet. I put that in it. And God knows why I put a passport in it. I knew straight away I would like to move that out of the air after. And well, I know I had it coming through customs because obviously I wouldn't have got back into Britain if I didn't. I know I had it on train because at one point I moved everything. I thought, oh shit, I, thought, I was like, oh shit, I can't find my carry bag. And I moved it. And, oh, my and I went, oh, I ain't got my carry bags there because I've got all my stuff in it and my passport. Woman next to me went, and she went, oh, she shouldn't, put it, shouldn't leave it there. I says, no, I'll shift it in a minute. So I know I had it on the train. So at least I can trace it to the train. After the train, I'm not sure if I had it in Sheffield Station or not. So I'm going to go to Sheffield train station tomorrow and try and trace it up. Because leaving an email, well, leaving a, filling a format on the internet. So we'll, we'll, we'll send you a link to follow and I've had nothing back up like that. So God knows. I'm going to go down, I'm going to, I've got to go out tomorrow or Tuesday anyway, so I might as well go tomorrow. See how hopeful they are at train station. If they're not hopeful... I'll then ring me travel insurance uh, and find out uh, what it's going to cost me. Well, if I can. Well, I know I can with them because that's why I took it. To pay for replacement transport. If I can, I'll reclaim 16 euros for me. Uh, what is it? 12, 16 euros for me uh, black bulbs that I bought for my sister, tulip bulbs. And I'll also reclaim my book for a tenner because I was enjoying that book. It by Bob Mortimer, right? Good. Uh, and a fridge magnet. That I bought, which were four euros, so about thir well about thirty five quid in total, I think maybe. Like, all because of a stupid twenty cent carrier bag that I was like, I don't want to pay twenty cent for a carrier bag because that means I've got to piss it out with a pocket full of coins. But I thought no, it'll be easier. I should have just should have my fucking jacket pocket, but no, no, you all know me. No, I'll, 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 I'll yeah, yeah, yeah. Do I feel depressed now? No, I'm all right now. I'm back home. I'm I'm back into the routine straight away. So I'm having a day off because I'm I'm knackered and. I just want to sit down and chill. I really don't. I can't be asked doing that. Not because I'm not because I'm depressed or I'm, I'm just generally a bit drained. So, but am I going again? Yes, definitely going to Amsterdam again. And am I going to start smoking weed again back in the UK? Yes, definitely. Uh, I know someone who can get me some indica. This is what I was smoking while I was away. I'm going to get a bong. I'm going to keep it in the living room. Oh, sorry, in the kitchen or upstairs. I'm not doing it in the living room because I'm not smoking weed or having water or anything like that anywhere near my computer. The only thing I allow now that is cans and when I drink a can I drink it away from the computer with a bong. Being stoned out can happen and I'm not risking damaging the many thousands of pounds because that's what it's going to be once I've done this next upgrade with the equipment I've got. So yeah, some indica in a bong. I don't know what dog's doing. Oh, he's been so loving. He won't leave me alone. He just sits and plays and just not nasty play like normally we like growl and bark. Well... As if like proper yappy play at each other. Now he's just like rolling ball to me when I get it. He's not even growling at me, which normally growls at me when I try and tuck his ball. He's just being so sort of like, that. don't leave me alone again, please. Well, don't leave me alone. He's like, don't go away and leave me again. No, I don't like it. So, but yeah, I'll get things sorted. Well, I said, sadly, Thailand's out of question. Can't go away and leave him for two weeks. I can go leave him for a week at most. So that's why Ohio's still on. I'm thinking I might do something like a week on off abroad, just me and him, try and get an adapted boat so I can get me get in and out of it properly. At least I'll be able to shower. I only do them, they're a bit more expensive, but until I get my knees done, I'm, I'm fucked. That's what's held me back a lot on this. I don't think I'm going to keep on doing these video blogs, or vlogs or whatever, and stick them on here on Facebook, and on here on YouTube. So, yeah, I, I kind of like it. I don't care whether people are watching it and listening, but I kind of feel like sharing my travel through disability. Going from being 
someone who had a few problems to someone who's now has a, a fucking big bag of smash. A fucked up bag of smash, to be honest. I'm happy as fuck, though. <laughs> you know what? I'm, I'm, I should be fucking miserable as sin about what, what, what's wrong with me and everything. I, the rapid decline into arthritic fucking senility that seems to be a tent, hitting me like a ton of tri uh, bricks at minutes. I, I can't even get my words right. I've been stupid, aren't I? But yeah, fuck it. Life's for living. And I'm going to live mine. Isn't that grand? Oh, it is. Lovely. Tell me. Oh, ah, Yorkshire and that. See you there.